Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm excited because I'm making a video um, on a subject that I've been wanting to for quite some time and that is how to go swimming if you wear alternative hair and you don't feel comfortable displaying your uh, fine, thin or balding hair in public. How do you go to the beach? How do you go to the pool? So I want to share uh, four ideas, um, some of which I've done myself and some are new to me, um, for wonderful ways that you can do a variety of summer activities, including going to the pool, going to the beach, snorkeling. So we'll go over all of that. And as always, I wanted to ask if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, comment below, and we'll get started. Okay. So the four ways to go swimming that I'll review in this video, and of course there are many more, it's just whatever really works for you, but these are four options that I think are wonderful. Um, but we will go over four and I've ranked them. They're going to be in order of how secure they are for purposes of actually going swimming. So I'll start with the least secure and number four will be the most secure option. Um, and so we'll get started. My first option involves John Renault's Hat Magic in 16 inches. This is in medium brown and I chose that because I thought it would blend well with my very fine and thin bio hair so that if any of it is showing um, I won't have to worry about blending it. And I will wear this Hat Magic with just a simple straw hat. So this look uh, I think would work really well for a pool party or uh, just lounging by the pool or walking on the beach. Um, maybe not necessarily swimming very much, maybe just dipping your toes in the water. Uh, I think for any of those activities this would work really well. So let me go ahead and show you how this hat magic is constructed. This is new to me and I'm very excited about it and I look forward to actually wearing this uh, this summer. So what you have here is um, this top has these wefts. So this is closed, it's wefted, but it's closed wefted. And it has um, all these straps that go across the top of your head. And I will put it on and show you, of course. Um, but it forms an X there on the top of your head and that's what keeps it in place. This is the front of the addition. And here you have two little silicone patches and I think that will help with grip. Uh, you also could apply some wig tape there. And then you have two little polyurethane um, areas here, sections here and you also could apply wig tape to that to help with security. These straps are adjustable, so you, across the front, you have one strap, that, as you can see, is adjustable there. And then in, in the back, you have two, these two that form this X are also adjustable. So you can actually uh, make this quite a bit bigger or smaller, depending on what will work for you and how much coverage you think you need. So that is basically the construction of this hair addition. So let me go ahead and try her on and let's take a look. What I have on, by the way, this is Sage by Aesthetica and I just love this little style. I reviewed her last week and uh, have been wearing her quite a bit. You also could swim in this, of course, but uh, you know, she might get a little wet here uh, on the ends and then you might have to wash her, but I just love this little style. So here we go. Take her off and I secure my bio hair with these clips. Actually, I just have one in right now. All right, so let's go ahead and put on this hat magic. I like to put this addition on the way you would a topper um, and not like a wig where you kind of flip it. I just feel like that works best, especially because it's, it's pretty long. As you can see, these 16 inches are pretty long. And when I wear this uh, out this summer, I think I will trim it a bit. It's a bit too much for me in terms of length, but the, um, the density is excellent. So let's make sure it's straight. So now you can see we have those little silicone patches that I talked about before. Those fall right about here. And that's the coverage you have. And it's, it's pretty stretchy as you can see. So 
I do have some bio hair peeking through here. But let's take a look at that from the top and from all sides so you can really see what kind of coverage I have with this. So this is what the top looks like. I hope you saw that. It's odd looking, of course. This is not a look by itself. You absolutely want a hat with this. But the reason for this construction, of course, is that it will help keep you cool. Um, wearing a full wig in the summertime out in the heat is just not very comfortable at all. And I typically wear baseball caps. Um, that's what I have been doing. But uh, I'm excited to try this hat ball, this uh, um, ma hat magic by John Renault, because I think that this really will keep you cool. So let's take a look from all sides. Here it is from the right and the back and the left. Yeah, so let's go ahead and try it on with that straw hat. And here you want to be careful. Um, these little straps can hang down a little bit. Maybe you either could trim that or just make sure that it's tucked into your hat so you don't have little straps hanging loose there and giving away your hat magic. <laughs> All right, so there we have just a simple straw hat with this really fun and inexpensive. By the way, I purchased this um, hat magic for under $100. Um, you know, I just wait for those 30% off sales. And then this is absolutely something, you know, if you're worried about ruining your wigs in the water um, that are more expensive, this affordable option would work really well. You could wash it. And then if you feel that the fibers are are done and, and worn out, you can, you know, get another one. I mean, it's, it's just a really nice, affordable option. So let's look at this from all sides. Also, here it is from the right and the back and the left. Just a really fun option for, like I said, a pool party or a walk on the beach. Uh, not very secure. If uh, the wind blows, you know, this could come off and um, we haven't secured this with tape or anything at this point, so uh, you absolutely would need to think about how to secure this more if this was the look that you wanted to wear, uh, maybe on a boat or somewhere where there might be some wind blowing. But that is option number one. Next up, option number two. Okay, so option number two. For this option, um, I want to show you just a little top bun. Um, and you can create that with a wig or also they have these um, hairband wigs. I know Ellen Villa makes one called Colada, spelled C-O-L-A-D-A. -A. Um, and those are both good options uh, for creating a little top bun. Now it is a wig, so it will be a little bit warmer, um, but it's fairly secure, uh, the option I'm going to show you. And uh, I absolutely think you could do this you could use this look for swimming in a controlled environment like a pool or maybe a lake. I don't think I would do this in the ocean. I've been surprised by that rough surf too many times uh, to trust this look to that. But I wanted to show you this little option because I think it's very pretty and pretty secure. Definitely more secure than option number one. So here we go. Now this is mesmerized by Raquel Welsh. I've reviewed her previously and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, and the reason why this is an ideal style is it's very sleek. You see there aren't a lot of waves. It's medium density, but I would say more medium low density. It uh, really works well with those updos, ponytails or the bun. And you have the extended lace front, so you get a lot of natural looking hair growth all the way down to the ear tab, well, halfway down the ear tabs, as you can see. And I've applied a piece of silicone tape there to create a natural scalp appearance. And I've applied a small piece of Walker wig tape there, and that is for security. This is the Walker lace front wig tape that I just love for anything where you want to secure the wig a little bit more and it, it will grip right here and really keep the wig from pulling backward. And then the last item is I did sew a wig clip here to the nape and that will help uh, prevent the cap and the wig from riding up in the back. 
But uh, as always, I want to really caution you when using any kind of clips um, that uh, you're careful that it not pull your hair too much because you can um, have hair loss happening if, if you use that on a regular basis and you have a lot of pulling. So let's go ahead and give this style a go. So here she is. I'm going to put her on. First, I want to show you actually the amount of bio hair that I'm working with just to give you an idea. So that's what I'm working with and you'll see I'll, I'll use it as much as I can for this little updo. So here we go. Put this on. <clears throat> and now with the ear tabs I'm making sure that that's the position I want. I'm going to press on that walker wig tape so that that stays in place. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly because I did create this style in my mesmerized video already, but rather than have you go searching around, I thought I would just go ahead and show it again. And I'm fastening the wig clip there in the back. And now, as you can see, that is so secure. That is not coming off. So then <clears throat> I'll pull out a few face framing pieces. and then gather the rest of the fibers. And I like to do kind of a high bun because uh, that way you're keeping these fibers out of the water as much as possible if you do wear her swimming. So first I'm just making sure that the fibers are nice and smooth. And then I'm gathering whatever bio hair is hanging down there. And we may have to secure some of it with a clip at the end. Just make sure we have as much of it in there as possible. And of course, if you're going to do this and if you're using some bio hair for it, um, you will absolutely want to try to use uh, to get a color that will match your bio hair. So now I'm just creating a ponytail, high ponytail. All right, so that's the first step now. Uh, I am going to pull down on the nape a little bit so that there is less pulling on that clip. And I'm checking for coverage. So depending, you can see I have bio hair showing here and you might want to disguise this with a little bit of eyeliner, that edge there, but you can pull down on the fibers and, and create more coverage for yourself, both here and in the nape. <clears throat> okay, so then I'll just take this ponytail and I twist it and wrap it sort of simultaneously here. And just doesn't need to be very pretty, although pretty, you know, doing a pretty style is always a good idea. <laughs> um, so then we have our hair tie and I'm just going to wrap that around that little bun that I created. And that is it. Um, it's as simple as that. And that is a very cool and comfortable updo that you can go swimming in. So let me show you this from all sides. Here she is from the right and the back and the left. And I didn't even check to see, oh, yep. <laughs> we do have some of my bio hair hanging down. So this is what I would do. I would just grab that. And then I have a barrette and just fasten that there. So we're not going for perfection. This is just a loose, comfortable style to go swimming in. So that was option number two. Next up, our third option. Okay, we're on to option number three. So this look is something that will work really well for swimming, boating, um, any kind of water activity, amusement parks, water parks. Um, I have worn this look in, in all of those, maybe not the amusement park, but water parks, lakes, uh, the ocean. This is the look, this is my, has been my go-to look um, for swimming with our boys when they were younger and even now when we 
go and uh, have a family vacation. This is typically what I've been doing. So um, I'll show you the way I do it first and then I'll show you this look with the hat magic, which I'm definitely going to try this summer. Um, but if you stayed with me this long, here's your reward. This is my own trick that I came up with for securing a baseball cap to my head. So as you can see, I got tired of things falling off my head in the water. These hats, of course, especially if you're boating, just want to go flying. So I've been sewing wig clips into my baseball caps and securing them in that way. So I'll show you my look for that. So I'll just take my bio hair and I like to use a scrunchie for this. Um, that has some hair on it there. Uh, but I use that because it, it uh, makes the, the little bun that I create look just a little fuller. Um, so I just tie that into a ponytail and then just loop it through and make a little bun. Fluff it as much as that's possible. And then I put on the cap. Now, you could of course uh, have a little ponytail or the bun going through this opening and that would add a little extra security there as well, but it doesn't help when the wind is blowing from the front. So now I take those wig clips and just like you would with a topper, I attach those there. And again, I am very careful to make sure that it's not pulling too much. And I only do this occasionally if uh, we're out on vacation. I don't do this on a daily basis because I don't want to create hair loss here where the clips are. But I'll show you this from all sides quickly. There you go. And that is very cool and comfortable. And if, and it often does, this hat gets wet while you're swimming in the ocean, splashing around, um, then what I do is I pack an extra and I'll just, it, they dry pretty quickly, but I'll find a discreet spot, take it off, put on the dry one, and I'm good to go again. So. This is a very practical option. Let's try it with the hat magic. So the reason why I chose the hat magic over, uh, Rene of Paris makes something called um, the halo. Uh, I think there's a bob and a longer style as well. And that <clears throat> hat wig or hat hair edition um, has ear tabs. And that's wonderful if you really need a little bit of extra coverage here. But for me, this is ideal. This hat magic is ideal because I, I want to use the clips and I'm afraid that I might not be able to use the hat clips if there are ear tabs in the way there. So let's go ahead and put on the hat magic. Make sure that position is good. And I want to point out, uh, if it wasn't obvious before, how this is shaped, this hat magic. You have it, it kind of goes straight across and then it goes, yeah, it goes up. And the reason for that bit of extra fiber up there is because of the baseball caps so that you don't have scalp showing. So it's just enough to give you that coverage, but uh, it doesn't add more fiber and make it warmer. So we will go ahead and I like a ponytail look with this one and I think the best way to do it is to create the ponytail first. So I'm gathering the Hat Magic fibers and my hair and just creating a loose, low ponytail. All right, make sure that's all secure there. And then I put on the baseball cap on top. And before I pull it all the way down, I am going to pull this ponytail through that opening because I do like the bit of extra security that will give me. All right, and then I pull the cap down, check, make sure everything is in place, that there are no little straps showing. All right, and now I'm taking those clips and I can feel the edge of the hat magic, so I'm just pushing up on it a little bit so that the clip can go underneath. You could do this with combs as well, I suppose, but I just like the extra security. Same thing here, just make sure, and oh, there's a little strap showing. Let me tuck that up and clip that there. Again, ensuring that it's not pulling. 
And there we go. That is very cute. And you can swim in this and then the fibers will be wet, of course, but you just give it a wash and you'll be ready to go again. So here she is from all sides. Yeah, I think that is an adorable look and really pretty secure. I definitely would feel comfortable with this uh, boating in the ocean, really any kind of water fun. So we have one more option, which is coming up next. Okay, last but not least, we need an option for doing some serious underwater swimming, like snorkeling or just if, if you want to really swim um, and protect your head and not expose your balding head because in addition, of course, to not wanting to display your thinning hair, you also need to be careful to not burn your scalp. So you really do need protection uh, if you suffer from hair loss here on the top and crown of your head. So uh, I'll try to make this uh, story short, but in 2019, um, I went uh, with my family on vacation and we wanted to go snorkeling and uh, I was looking forward to this activity, but I really had a dilemma. I really did not know how I was going to comfortably um, and without being too embarrassed about what it would look like go snorkeling. Um, and so I did a lot of research and I found this swim hat. This is the Namu swim hat. And um, this is the actual one that I wore and I'm going to um, put in a few photos here so you can see me swimming and snorkeling in this hat. Okay, so that is the solution that I found and I will tell you it worked incredibly well. This hat did not come off was very comfortable, was cool, dried fairly quickly. Um, and so let me go ahead and show you how I wore this hat without um, the hair addition. You can wear it with though. Let me just point out first. So it's a very stretchy material and it says it is made of nylon, 80% nylon and 20% spandex. So very comfortable. And it has this uh, adorable little tie in the back and uh, that just adds a little bit of style and makes, makes it look like a very sporty little swing cap that's very comfortable and doesn't pull on your hair at all. So what I do is, again, I just create a low bun with the little scrunchie. And then we take that Nemo swim cap, just like the baseball hat put it on and then I just pull that little bun through there and fluff it a little bit. And you can pull this down and adjust it for however much coverage you might need. And that is extremely secure. Now for the true test, we are ready to go snorkeling. So here we go. I'll show this to you from all sides. Do this from the right, the back, and the left. So let's try it on with the hat magic. Remove the cap. <clears throat> and again, just put this on over the top. Make sure the position is good and that the straps are nice and flat. And then I create the ponytail first. Gather everything up. And actually, since we have these fibers now, I do prefer using um, the smaller hair tie. All right. And then thankfully, this hat has seams, you can see along both sides here. So any little bulging that you might get from these straps really, I think, are not obvious with this little hat construction. Slip that on and then you could either leave the ponytail underneath or I do think it adds just a little extra security, even though I'm not at all concerned about that with this hat. And adjust, make sure there are no straps peeking through. Oh, 
Okay, and there you go. They make these in all kinds of colors as well. I will leave um, the website in my description so you can see where to purchase this. I actually purchased it on Amazon in 2019, but I wasn't able to find it on Amazon uh, when I looked this year and I ordered it directly from the company. I ordered a red one. They are definitely still operational. I spoke with someone there and uh, these hats can be ordered directly from them. So here we go from the right and the back and the left. So this is by far the most secure option that I can think of other than wearing one of those, um, the regular rubbery swim caps um, to go swimming while wearing alternative hair or not having that protection so your scalp doesn't get burned and being able to enjoy water fun, the, the ocean, swimming in a pool with your kids or grandkids. I hope that all of these options will encourage you not to sit back and, and watch from a distance, but get in there, enjoy nature, swim, be carefree. That's my hope. I hope you enjoyed these options and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.